Alright everybody, welcome back to part number three of Lost Grimmeries 2. And last time we make our way to the Crystal Army area, as you can see. Just feel, uh, we just freed the giant uh, tortoise. I think we'll probably call it a tortoise, the ancient tortoise or whatever it was. Uh, move the characters to the other side of the maze, move any statues that are blocking your way. Alright, so we've got another soccer band puzzle here. Which is uh, really nice. Nothing too difficult though, at the moment. So let's see what we're going to do. I think if we just move that one there, and this one over here, this one over here, we are out. I can thank Mike for uh, being pretty good at soccer band. Alright, this one a little bit more tricky. We've got an opening move there, which pushes that one up. And I think if I push this one, this one, and then that one, we can then escape out of the top, like so. Auntie? Is that you? I'm here, in this crystal chamber. Fern, I'm here to get you out. Where is Drasera? I don't know, but we must act quickly. She could appear at any moment. Is Rose safe? Yes, she's waiting for you in the real world. Do you know how to shatter that crystal prison? To open the cage, you need to put a crystal scepter in the pedestal. You should look for one in the armory, the low building on my left. Alrighty then, so we're looking for bits and pieces. Uh, so this is the pedestal where we need to place it. And I'm not sure I really grabbed there, but we've got some aloe oil, probably for the next spell. Let's head into the armory. And this is our warming lotion, so we need firestone and some cod liver oil to complete this spell. Okay, so what this will be is there'll be some gems in the center. We have to kind of like match the gems up so they all kind of go to the same color. I've played a few of those ones before. Okay, so we need a drill bit by the looks of it. Have to cut through the chains. And not sure if there is anything else here at the moment. Some pliers. Some of oh, bolt cutters. Okay. So we're gonna cut that off, I guess, and pick that up and do something with that. But we can now get into this cupboard with the bolt cutters. Not a cupboard. Oh, it is a cupboard. Okay. So, what are we doing here? Oh, sorry. It's a hidden object. I was completely oblivious to the fact that um, we um, were on one of these. I was like, what am I going to do here? I completely missed the fact that there was things at the bottom. I think because I'm so used to like just the being text descriptions and telling you what you need to find as opposed to just showing you the silhouettes. This one has all been about the silhouettes. So, um, yeah, slightly different approach on this one. Anywho, that's enough uh, jibber-jabber. Let's see if we can't find all of these items. To find some... There's a fish there, which... Is... No, that's not a fish, is it? It's a bit deceiving. That little bit right there looked like it got like a bit of a split tail, so I didn't actually think that was the right thing that I was looking for, but turns out it was. And what are we looking for here? Uh, four more things to find. Oh, 
thought that one would be pretty fun, and I go and see it straight away after saying that, of course. Oh, so I don't know where this one is. Is it this? No? Okay. It is not. We'd have thought that would be pretty easy to see, though. It's not... Okay. It's not a, a small thing by any standards. We've got the new item. And the scroll is arranged them in the right places to open the container. Okay, we can assume that that's... So, the trick to kind of understanding this is knowing what affects what as you move things around here. Ah, there's like multiple, there's multiple um, options here though. Isn't there? No, there isn't. Okay. Okay, so that's that, that's that. Bring that one down. It's just this one. We need to find a way to line these ones up. So that moves that and that. Okay, that's all lined up. There we go. We've got a chest key. And we've also got a crystal scepter plant. I wonder if this is what this is for. Okay, so we need a shard, grind it down, and then we need to drill something in it, and then we can make our scepter, it seems. So we need to find a drill bit, first and foremost, it seems. What can we get in this chest now? Yes. Okay, so we have to basically match... To match everything here. Uh, it's going to be yellow, isn't it? Oh, sorry. I have totally misread what I needed to do. There we go. Much better. So which colour hasn't got... Uh, okay, so that's the only one pink on the end ones. Gotcha. Okay. Relatively straightforward. Nothing too difficult. He says as he then doesn't rotate that last one, but there we go. We got it. We got the end of the scepter. We've got a figure and we've got our aloe, I think it was, so we can make our new recipe. It's moon dust, sorry. Moon dust, of course. Moon dust. So, um, let's have a look, let's see what we've got. Uh, I can do that, that, and that. Try and get as many of them in one go as we can. Blues are looking a bit sparse at the minute, though. line of them like that, so that helps. We need more blues though. Uh, excuse me. Bring that down, finish off the reds. Uh, 
is not looking good for blues. Unless we get um, some mega clutch move at the end here. We get a five there, but we still need two more. We've only got three more moves. Ah, oh, there we go. Falls into place right at the end. I don't know if there's like a... I don't know if there's something which will basically allow you just to do it. And it kind of calculates. I don't know that it would be that sort of intelligent a game. Okay, so we want a crystal shard from here. We can now take back to the armory. Yeah, that's only just for the scepter, isn't it? Okay, so grind that. Place it in the vise. We've still not found a new... Oh, yes. Diamond drill, of course. If you wanted a big boom, it certainly worked. It was a trap. Oh, shock horror. Did you really <laughs> think that you could quietly slip in here and simply free the prince unnoticed? What naivety. In this land, I know and see everything. I have been preparing this trap from the very beginning. The shard. That's what I need. Now that I have it in my possession, I can move to the real world and rebuild its power. Rose, honey, if you want to see the prince and his nursemaid alive, open the portal. What have you done to them, witch? Nothing. Yet. But if you don't obey me, they may be harmed. Good girl. Now excuse me. I have to get back to the real world and take care of organizing a new kingdom. Everything is lost. We're trapped. And Rose has betrayed us. Don't say that. She's only helping Drasera because she is afraid about you. She wants to sacrifice her life just for me? Do you think she really loves me? Of course. And we must help her and stop Drasera. First, show me your travel bag. Here you are. I've still got some mixture recipes from our recent lessons. I find more often than not in these, the ones that I've played, there's always there's a, a double cross that happens somewhere along the line. There's never as clear cut as, uh, as uh, you know, we can just do this, this, and this. Is that like a sea urchin or something? Bacon soda. Have we got a new... Okay, we haven't got any... We haven't got any recipes as of yet. Okay, so we got a buckle. So now we can open the bag with the buckle. I'm not sure why I couldn't have just opened it before, but... I hope. So swallow foam. Expanding and quickly stilling foam. Originally from the tree says, Now this is by four adopted by engineers who harness its power. Baking soda, sponge, and bulb juice. Okay. So... We take them out with a fork. Oh, the pliers. That's, um... Quite the job. If 
funnel though. Funnel it into there, not. Come on. How many successful times have you tried to pour a bowl of something into a jug and it not spill anywhere? Alright, so we got that and we got that. We just need a sponge. So where are we going to see a sponge from? How can we make the crack bigger, I wonder? Oh, well, we're going to just make our recipe, I guess. That's how we're going to do it. Uh, okay, so what have we got here? We've got, uh, 20 blues, 18, 16, 14, okay. Let us press on. Almost got all of those now. yet have we so we should probably focus a little bit of more t a little bit of more a little bit more time on those so the red's done and the blue's done and yellow's almost done greens are still problematic for us though at the minute Three greens there. There's three greens there. Excellent. All right, we've got the swallow foam. Now let's go and put it in this uh, crack over here. Everything is lost. We're trapped. And Rose has been oh yeah, we're trapped. Are you not paying attention to what's going on? <laughs> Okay, did I find a rose here? Yeah, I found the rose. Okay, excellent. Rose, darling, you've lost your head over this young man. That's why we ran into trouble. But I forgive you. He'll eventually forget about you. You'll see. And then you'll come back to me, and I will accept you like a mother. I've explained it to you many times. People are afraid of and despise magically gifted people like you and I. I'm not like you, and I never will be. Of course. Now, unless you care about your new friend's lives, you'd better use all your power. The summoning ritual of the Glass Fortress has begun. Finally, I will rebuild my power. Dun dun dun. Auntie, everything has started to vibrate from the magical power. That can only mean one thing. Along with the fortress, we are moving into the real world. We have little time. We have little time. This is Legendary Terry Grass Fortress. Watch every step you take, Fern. Okay. I am looking for a rose. There is one, right? Yep. There is. But I can he see it. Can he see it, Captain? There it is. Found it. Alright, let's have a look at here. It's not complete. Completely frozen. Telling us how to destroy the crystals with some sort of water, it seems. And we need some bricks there to complete the throne. A cloak pin. of Triumph was watching us all the time. Can I lockpick that? I can. Excellent. We've got some music notes and some sort of seal.
And we can make the fiery at atomizer, which is a dragon's breath. Pretty much, okay. So many years I've been seeking my heritage, the ancient glass fortress in House Paris, now I've been grasped by, I'll reclaim the legacy of my ancestors and crush the house of Griffin, which long ago took these lands, even if my brothers tried to stop me. Me, the infamous sister of three alchemists, a crow beside a wolf, owl and bear, though these traitors denied their destiny. They prefer to serve good. After my victory, there will be no mercy, only despair. Okay, so we need to open that somehow. Uh, yeah, that's just a book. And uh, there is nothing else to do on there. It's got a tile. Why didn't we use the music box paper, I wonder? Over here, perhaps. Is there another tile? Tile. Alright, we've got two of the three items there for the throne here. Let's head back to the sanctuary. And could open the pillow. And we can now make something in our recipe. clear the yellows. This will clear the blues. And then... So we still work on greens though. We are struggling with greens. Please, sir, can I have some greens? I do feel like it's it's fixed in a certain way to um, give you pretty much what you need on your final move, assuming you can still do it for your final move. Um, there's still like something like we need to do here. What does that spell do again? Okay, so... Okay, so we've got some stuff to put on the figurine, the, the figure here. Trying to remember where everything went. Trying to rotate the pieces first, though. There he goes there. We can see that quite clearly. Is that not the location for that? I guess not. there and oh is this the lake yeah, this is the lake didn't notice that bit before that goes behind that goes there There. Look, there is a ship in the cave under the glass fortress. We can use it to sail through the lake. And then, if I could freeze the lake, its surface would break like a mirror and the fortress would be destroyed. 
Uh, you hope. I'm missing a candle. Maybe we could replace it with something else. I thought my icon just changed there, but I guess not. Okay. Um. Ah, we can get in here now. I forgot about this door. To the laboratory. And we got a, an object puzzle to deal with. First and foremost, the solar system. Got the tarot cards though. Butterflies go on this chart here. A tentacle. It's the scarab. Can't see it at the minute. Pyramid, the ring, the hourglass, the wand, an eye. Well, there's a scarab. What's these icons here? Just the solar system then. Oh, it's here. I don't know what I was looking for exactly. And now we need sparkles. Which are pretty simple. And we got a new item, the noon glare. Which, guess what? That's going to go there. The Well of Bright. And we've got a... Lunar corridor reflecting the beam of light to the top of the crystal lantern. Okay, so we can't... Not like we can rotate these. There we go, that's the first one. Now we have a hidden object puzzle. Where's the shackles? Shield wax sealer. Not seeing that at the moment. Bo a boat, butter bag, boater bag. What's one of those? Okay, that's one of them. It's always a bit. Um, so it's a bit daunting when um, you are looking for something in particular, but you're not sure what it's meant to be. So a horn, is that like a, an animal's horn or is it actually the musical horn? Regardless, I'm not seeing either. There it is. So I don't know what this last one is. Genuinely. Alright. Why did you just zoom in? Like I had to focus in on him. Okay, give him the shield. Crystal Lantern is there. 
What? Oh, maybe I went a little bit too low. Damn it. Okay, that's um, the fact that this is sorry. The fact that this is so far, so close to the bottom, is um, a little bit annoying because I keep trying to grab these ones towards the bottom, as you can see, and um, we're just constantly like hitting that, which is tray annoying. Can't move this one. So that's fixed in place. That's no good to anybody. Sure. <laughs> okay. Um I think if I'm honest there as well, I actually only used two of them. Piss there, I want to. Okay. There we go. I feel a bit bad that, like, that's that the one before that was a bit trial and error, but. Uh, harbor. We can sail by the ship quickly and save Rose. See, fate is on our side. After winter, always comes spring. Never doubt it, Fern. I'm sure we can save her if you. Quit some of the jibber jabber and we we get a move on. That's the compass needs a needle. And there is a mixture for show much promise out of because information already mentioned after the war, so it's freezing. Solution. Only attached. Well, not from my saw, they're not. At the planks. Okay. We don't have much time. What do you want me to do? First, go under the deck and pull up the anchor. I'll take care of the deck and sails. Right away. I'll be as fast as possible. He'll be as fast as possible. Okay, so we need to find some bits there. Some more for the uh, spell. We need to fix the sails because they are ripped. File the lock off. And we can make what should probably be our final mixture of the game. We are pretty much done, I believe. Again, though, there's not giving us many purple ones to play with here, which is not so great. Do look like we've got an abundance of moves, though, to still do this. So I'm not panicking just yet. 
Okay, so we need five and five. Ten moves left. But it's not giving me any blues at all. Okay, just some blues, please, game. Much appreciated. Well, I guess my theory of the game will give you what you need right at the end, if you need it, is uh, not true after all. Just get is is a little bit annoying though. Obviously, you can only work with what you're given, and if it doesn't give you, um, it's not like it's uh, something you can do every single time. It, it's pure luck, it seems, based on what it drops for you. Of course, as I just demonstrated there, if it doesn't uh, drop you the right bits and pieces, then uh, you are out of luck. Let's see if we can get a bit lucky with the blues this time though. There we go, got the blues. There we go. We're done with like seven moves, uh, seven moves spare that time. So, all right, so we've got to throw a needle. Now I, I have a hunch here what we're gonna do is we're gonna repair this and we're gonna use the needle for the compass maybe. still need to find the wheel for the ship. Ah, oh, let me do this right. Okay, so we're looking for pieces of wood to build the ship's wheel, it seems. Uh, how many more bits do we need? Two more pieces. Two more pieces. Where for art thou final piece? Where are you? Where are you? Are you there somewhere? Show yourself. I thought they'd be pretty straightforward to find though, given that they've all got that like pattern on them. seen anywhere. Where are those? Hidden behind the dice. I don't need the uh, central bit, obviously. And then that as well. For some reason I, um, for some reason I, like, m just completely ignored the fact that, um, the chain was a little bit rusted, but I used some alchemy tricks, and now it works fine. Let's go. You've done well. Your father would be proud of you. Do you think so? Thanks. But I'm just doing what you told me to do. I want to thank you. For saving me. For your care after my father's death. For everything. You were my best friend. From this moment, I won't let you down again. Actually, you never did. I'm also proud of you. I was gonna say, like, literally, what has he done on, like, off his own back? Because we have told him what to do every step of the way, pretty much, right? Well, now I'm 
I'm telling you. Let's set sail and save Rose and our kingdom. Finally. Be careful. The Crystal Thorn is approaching. Be careful. The Crystal Thorn is approaching. Be careful. The Crystal Thorn is approaching. What? Oh. Turn the wheel, Auntie. Quick. Okay, it's what? Be careful. Can I... This minigame makes no sense. Be careful. The crystal is approaching. Look out. Another one is coming. Be careful. The crystal is approaching. Be careful. The crystal is approaching. Be careful. The crystal is approaching. I mean, yeah, this okay. I suppose it kind of makes a little bit of sense, but you don't really get a lot of time to react on some of these, which is um, a bit weird. I hope we aren't too late. This is our last chance. What? Wah, 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 wah. It can't be. My only hope is gone. Nothing. Show them that I can't be beaten so easily. All right. Let's see what sort of uh, final boss fight type thing we're going to have coming. here. We'd better arm ourselves. Stuck in the ice. Um, let's get this out here. I guess we're going to give him oh, I've a shield. shield and we need an arrow for the bow. And where are we going to find one of those from? I wonder. There is the quiver. Must run. Go to the palace, gather the armed men. Together you'll beat the witch. No. I don't want to hide. Drosera is my family's curse, and my duty is to defeat her once and for all. But the kingdom needs you. Rose needs you. Don't forget about that. If Drosera survives, there won't be any kingdom left. I'm staying with you. Fern, behind you. We I'm must behind you. The magic light. <laughs> So play rock, paper, scissors by countering light. her attacks. We must reflect the magic light. We must reflect the magic light. Alright. We must reflect the magic light. My shield won't protect us. Hello, my love. Did you miss me? Rose. I I, I don't know what's going on here. About Honestly. Let's this <laughs> I guess you just gotta pick the right person to do the right action at the right physical damage. Use your magic, Rose. She's hurling the crystal. My use your magic, Rose. Okay, so she blocks the crystal. Sarah is sensitive to physical damage. She's hurling the crystal. Use your magic, Rose. Okay, yeah, so it's just like picking the right thing. The magic light. I get it now. Sarah is sensitive to physical damage. We must reflect the magic light. I'm not sure what our top one's for, but. Oh, that's her attack, okay. That's what she's doing in her action. I get it now. Now that it's over. Typical. <laughs> no, my 
magic is weakening. I've lost. Please, spare my life. It's over. You have no power. And you are now banished from this land forever. Yes, it's over. My power, lost forever. Curse you! Let's go home. So, the story is over. Nobody ever saw Drosera in this dimension or any other again. What happened to Fern and Rose? They lived happily... Well, not quite. But that is a story for another time. The end. Achievement unlocked, winner. All right, well that was that was that was okay. Um, these ones have been generally pretty short. These uh, the last two that I've played this this one and the first one and the, this one. So um, yeah, but um, for as far as these go, it was pretty. It was okay. Um, there wasn't really anything that was um, I'd consider like unfair or anything that was like ridiculously stupid and frustrating. The only real thing I say with straight was probably like the alchemy puzzles but that was only the last one because it is completely random so I wasn't able to do that it was only that last one I wasn't able to do first time uh, but it's like really minor thing to be frustrated about but uh, there we go there is the first one of our um, these puzzle games I've uh, played and um, I'm sure I'll be back real soon playing another one like I said they're just just nice little games just to play as a, as a chill game I can play on my lunch hour and just have a bit of fun with basically just play through some games and see what we can find and of course it's um always good to be competing with Deathwish. so um, um as much as i laugh and uh, ridicule him about uh, stuff that he maybe sees and misses in his playthroughs it's uh, a bit of uh, karma for him to be able to get his own back on me but uh, thanks guys i appreciate you watching and until next time i've been not even awesome uh, take a happy gaming